to jump on here and do a very quick little product review. I have four items today. So if you know my health story at all, um, which maybe I should do a video and explain it a little bit, but I actually am gluten-free and egg-free because of severe allergies that I have. Um, I'm not celiac, but I just try to eat that way because um, it is pretty serious. I've gotten tested a few times, and sometimes those tests aren't super accurate. So anyway, long story short, I have to eat gluten-free. It helps if I'm also like dairy free although sometimes I eat dairy and eggs I'm also allergic to which is really tricky when you are gluten free because it's one of the only things that it's a very common thing that is a binder for things so I still love to bake and I still love to like eat normal food and especially for that sense of normalcy sometimes it's really like I miss that and so um, I'm going to share a couple of things today they're from Trader Joe's and Sprouts and I'm going to walk you through them so First off, we have this gluten-free cornbread. This is from Trader Joe's. Um, I actually made this last night, and it was super easy. So it does call for eggs. Actually, let me review this while I'm at it. And I use this. This is the Bob's Red Mill Egg Replacer, and I, if you're allergic to eggs, I 10 out of 10 recommend this. It works in, actually, 9 out of 10. Um, it works really well when you're baking things, um, but like pancakes, muffins, cornbread, um, any kind of baking recipe, it typically works really, really well. Um, obviously, you can't scramble that and eat that with toast. That would be kind of gross. Um, but it's kind of like a flax egg, but not as gritty, so it like blends in better. So I really love this stuff. Um, the cornbread was actually really soft and fluffy, and it had pieces of corn in it, which I'm not used to with my cornbread. Some people love that. It was definitely on the sweeter side, but very like fluffy and moist and um, really good. So it was like a sweet cornbread, really yummy. I would definitely get this again, actually. I'm not the biggest cornbread person. I maybe have it like a couple times a year max, but um, that one was good. And it's hard to find a good bread, um, especially with the quarantine right now, like having like warm soups and I made like a quinoa black bean chili last night with the cornbread and that was really lovely. Moving on to the next thing, I actually just tried that this this morning. This was on sale at Sprouts um, and it's Nature's Path Organic Sunrise Crunchy Cinnamon cereal made from corn, quinoa, flax, buckwheat, and aramanth. Um, I don't like it. <laughs> Long story short, the cereal is really puffy and like airy and I honestly would just rather eat oatmeal. Like. It wasn't super crunchy, um, it wasn't super cinnamony, it just kind of was bland and not something I like. am looking forward to eating. I poured the bowl of cereal and I'm really not excited to eat it. Um, I wish it had more like texture in it and it does have like different like flakes and like puffed rice and things. I just didn't, I just didn't love it and I wished it was more cinnamony. Um, the other things I wanted to review, this is a gluten-free flour, and I have almost finished the bag. My mom sent me with this when I moved out here to Colorado, but um, this is the gluten-free flax and ancient grains all-purpose flour. I think it's from um, Sam's Club. I think that's where she got it from, uh, but you could order it online on Amazon, um, and it is like pretty affordable. I think it's like 13 bucks for five pounds of um, like all-purpose flour. It has brown rice, golden flax seed, quinoa, buckwheat, and aramanth. So if you're allergic to corn, you should be fine with this. Um, yeah, but, and it has a couple of recipes on the back. I tried the gluten-free pancakes, but again, with the egg, that recipe was kind of weird and funky, even with the egg replacer. Um, and I don't have a muffin tin, so I didn't make muffins out of this. But overall, it was fine. It definitely resembles like a whole wheat flour. Um, and so that's just something to be like mindful of if you're making something that maybe has a more delicate flavor. Like if you're making a banana bread or a zucchini bread, this is great. Um, but if you're making like crepes or something, don't use it. It would be kind of like awkwardly gritty. Um, and the last thing I wanted to review was this very almost gone bag of tortilla chips. This is from Trader Joe's as well. Um, the Trader Joe's is like less than five minutes from me, so I got it quite a bit. These are the restaurant style white corn tortilla chips. Um, they have a hint of wine. And I'll show you. It's like 8 a.m. and I'm going to eat a chip. But um, they're like fairly thick um, and like really yummy. Like they really do taste limey. 
and they have good bite and crunch to it. They are almost a little bit too hard, but if you're dipping it in something or making nachos in the oven, these hold up really, really well um, for that. So that is my review on those products. Um, I hope that is helpful to you guys. Um, again, out of all of them, these two would be my favorites. Um, I will probably never again buy this cereal, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I just, there's other things I'd rather eat for breakfast. A chia seed bowl, a smoothie, a bowl of oatmeal, my own granola. Um, so yeah, but I mean, you could probably help it out with like some cinnamon or something on top, maybe. Anyway, hope you guys are having a good day. I'm going to go eat my breakfast and jump on the call for work.